Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is October 10th, 2022 and my family is moving if you can tell from the title. Yeah, so I know you probably saw this in my life update video that we are moving, but we're like actually moving this week and we're not packed at all. We're moving really close like I'm still going to go to my school and everything But we just are moving and I have moved a few times in my life before so like this isn't really new to me Sorry if you can hear my puppy walking in the TV But I am standing here because there's so many boxes as you can see we are starting to pack It's Monday today and our first night in the new place is on Thursday So yeah, as you can see we're pretty behind unpacking But it's just because it's been so hectic around here So I thought I'd do a moving vlog and talk about how I feel and just show the moving process of what's going on as we move Packing unpacking me setting up my new room, etc. And also the feeling with it because for some reason I'm really attached to this place we moved in right at the beginning of the pandemic around relatively right at the beginning of the pandemic like the summer of 2020 and I'm just really attached to this place for some reason I mean I've spent some of my most a lot has happened here and so it's just emotional for me to leave it and I bet I'm gonna have a mental breakdown and cry a lot when we pack up my room because I love my room I'm gonna miss it let's go to my room real quick so we can have some last looks I'm gonna miss this hallway I'm gonna miss vlogging here and filming here for you guys if you guys can remember this is what I always filmed again. Sorry, it's like night, so it's kind of dark. Milky, say hi to the video. This was also the place where we brought my dog home, so she's never known another home. But you know, I mean, the classic like desk setup, and against here, I'm gonna move all my posters and stuff, but it's still not gonna be the same room. So let's get some last looks of my room. It's really not much to look at right now. As you can see, it's a mess. <laughs> Since we are going through everything and everything is just generally a huge mess. Haven't packed anything as you can see. It's really bad I know and I'm also on my period again. This is why I'm wearing my red plaid pants. So I can't believe I have to be on my period while we're moving and I'm already going to be emotional. Anyway, I just hate change. I hate disruption and school. Hello, please focus. Everything in my life with school right now is so stressful anyway and there's just a lot going on and now I have to move. I mean, it's not going to disrupt my life in the sense that it'll disrupt other stuff. It's just going to disrupt where where I come home to every day. So yeah, I'm just gonna vlog my experience. I've made this way too long, I can't be concise at all. I have to study right now and it's hard to study and focus when I'm moving, but I do have tests so I need to go study. But hope you enjoyed this little intro. <laughs> if you hear a loud whirring noise but it's the robot vacuum thing that you can get and it's just running right now but like I just got home from school and it's pretty early it's not even 12 yet I just had like a weird short day because it was college day at our school and you know when you're moving I just walked in and pieces of my room it's just like blank like literally just walking into this it looks so different so much has been taken down and like done by my mom and also my aunt well she's not really my aunt but like I call her my aunt or like second mom because sorry this noise is really annoying I'll go in the bathroom but basically my mom and her have been best friends since they were my age 15 and when they like both got divorced we just all moved in together and I love it she's like my second mom I love her so much anyway what was I saying oh yeah they've just been moving everything and like getting stuff ready while I've been at school and so it's so weird to come home to a bare room almost I don't know how I'm gonna feel when I see this room empty <laughs> Hey 
Hey guys, so it is around 10.30ish and it is officially my last night here. Sorry, by the way, ignore my horrible skin, but it is my last night here. I was just informed that tomorrow, Thursday, when I come home from school tomorrow, this isn't gonna be home. I'm gonna have to go to the new place. Um, so that's weird. Like when I leave tomorrow, it's the first time it'll really be like home, but we still can come by to say bye for like a couple days after. So I guess that's fine, but it's just happening really fast. I wish I had more time, but it's okay i'm doing okay i feel like i might get a little more emotional tomorrow but i honestly just have no idea how sorry my mom's putting tape on boxes but i just genuinely don't even know how to feel anymore and i think i'm kind of numb to moving out of this place by now because i'm kind of in denial my room is very empty if you can see there's like nothing here anymore just furniture that the movers are gonna take and as you can see just boxes and furniture and clothes for tomorrow but all the walls are bare so anyway that's the update i will miss this place something i did that maybe if you're moving soon and you wanted some advice or just in general i like to like write letters to things like i wrote a letter to the house and like my room and everything you know just like thanking it just to get out emotions i don't know i just thought it was helpful but anyway i will update you guys as we're unpacking and settling into the new place so yeah this is one of my last clips here because i'm probably not gonna film in the morning i mean maybe but like you know this is one of my last clips here if not my last clip so bye i'll see you guys in the new place I just got home from like tennis and my family's at the other place moving stuff and like my brother's at baseball practice too and like I'm like alone at the old place because I don't really have anywhere else to be right now and it's so weird because every single room is like empty because all the furniture is gone it's so echoey in here but like the hallway was always kind of empty so like it still feels like it's home it's just weird walking down here and like now empty room and it just feels really really weird because the bathroom is still full for some reason so it's like i feel like i'm in a dream right now because like everything's empty except the bathrooms i don't know i just thought i was ready to leave and i'm just not at home i think part of me is just really in denial that this isn't my home anymore sorry my dog's here so that's happening i'm probably gonna have more emotional breakdowns later on but it's fine i have to go right now because i have to help my family but this was really weird i feel like i'm in a trance right now anyway bye place and I'm unpacking and this is my new room. That's all for now. current date is 10 did i really just go to say like the number of the month it's currently october 15th and it's 9 ish 10 ish at night and i am just working on some homework i unpacked my room my best friend she came over today and helped me unpack my room and it's still nowhere near completely unpacked but it is looking pretty much honestly honestly from here it looks like my old room but like then we turn around and like the closet's there not the bathroom and there's like the tv and i made like a whole taylor swift corner and like just there's different stuff you know i will do an updated room tour eventually if you want me to but my room is not finished being set up sorry my camera's a little out of focus but i don't really want it in focus because you can see all my all my acne <laughs> but tonight was a really emotional night because i went to say goodbye to my old place because today was the last day we had it and i cried a lot <laughs> 
it's crazy because we were only living there for a couple years and it's really crazy how just like a couple years can feel like a really long time and just like the attachments to certain places so if you're going through something like that if you move a lot if you're recently moving if you're about to move just know that you're completely valid in your feelings and you are so so not alone because I've just been really sad and it still feels like home to me even though I don't live there anymore and I was like going around the house saying bye room and stuff and just remembering all the memories there it was really really sad for me I think the most important thing to do is to honor your feelings and let yourself feel them and also appreciate that you have these feelings because it's important to have attachments to certain places but it's also important to make the best of things and to move forward and not dwell on the past because just because you have memories doesn't mean you can't like make more memories if that makes any sense like I know I'll make new memories in this place that I'll love and eventually once we get organized and unpack everything we need to unpack it will feel a lot more like home but that's just my advice on moving I also think it's really important to like develop a feeling of home within yourself especially if you're someone who moves a lot and that's my advice Anyway, that's it for this video. I'm ending it here because I just don't feel like vlogging myself unpacking everything It's just crazy too much before you leave Please like this video and if you made it to the end of this video comment down below moving is crazy because moving is seriously so crazy We're so disorganized. It's just crazy and also please subscribe to my youtube channel because I do other vlogs routine stuff like that And also like period videos teen videos teen girl videos, you know a bunch of stuff like that So if you're interested in any of those videos, then make sure to subscribe to see them I'm sorry that my eyes have to look this bad right now. Oh, that focused way too much on me. Anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching it, and I love you guys. Bye.